welcome to my channel and I'm back with you once again with another video of Microsoft Flight Simulator. Nowadays I'm doing a series of videos for the Boeing 7478 which is the default plane for the Microsoft Flight Simulator and this is going to be the 8th video in which I will tell you how to perform a hold. Before this I've done 7 videos which includes how to configure the FMC, how to start this plane from the cold and dark state, how to fly the plane on autopilot, descent management and ILS approach, RNAV approach and VOR approach. Uh, this is going to be a short and simple video in which I will just tell you how to perform a hold. Right now I'm doing a short flight from Heathrow to Frankfurt and um, I'm just making this video by keeping this thing in my mind that the beginners will be watching it so I will be just trying uh, to keep uh, things at a very basic level not going into so much details. Uh, just to tell you uh, over here if you look at your screens uh, the star chart is open and uh, you can see uh, it's uh, for Unoco 4A uh, which I am right now using uh, to proceed towards the runway. Right now you can see that the plane is uh, about to cross SPI and soon it will be flying towards Unogo. And uh, over here you can see there is a published hold which is uh, uh, here on your screens. Uh, the time for the hold is 1 minute, maximum speed is 230 knots. And um, at Unoco you can be um, um, 11,000 feet and above. I think you can also see it over here. If it's not so crowded, I think you will see 11,000 and above. So at this point, you can perform a hold. Inbound course of 87 degrees and outbound course of 267 degrees. Uh, so this is it. How do you do it? Uh, let me just show it to you. Right now, just go to this uh, page legs and uh, you can press this button hold the moment you press this button hold you will see these squares coming over here uh, so look for the waypoint at which you are going to perform a hold select this and as soon as you press this uh, soft key adjacent to Unoco you will see it over here on the scratch pad just press this uh, button once again and this will be actually added to your flight plan all you have to do is this press execute and you will be just performing a hold at this point. Uh, just two things to look at. Number here, number one, yeah, you will see over here 87 degrees right turn. So as you can see, it is as per the published hold and uh, you can perform a right turn over here, uh, heading towards 87 degrees and plus the leg time is one minute. Uh, so this is the standard time that the plane will spend in the hold for one uh, round. Uh, you can always change it let's say if I want to change it to left I can do 087 slash left so this is the format if I press this button over here it will be changed towards the left side uh, but I'm not going to do it right now but you can just change it like this if I press execute it will be added as you can see it's coming on your screen but right now it's very big because I'm coming at a very high speed as you can see in uh, mark is uh, 0.84 so the speed is really very high so as soon as I will reduce the speed you will see this holding pattern getting shrunk so um, what I'll do is this I can press execute and add it to the flight plan or I can also press erase if I don't want to perform a hold at this point so let's press execute and that's it so if you go to this page legs and if you go to the next page you will see after Yonoko there is another point coming Yonoko hold at Yonoko and uh, that's it so what I'm going to do I'm just going to reduce the speed and going to show you how this holding pattern shrinks so let's say if I go to 230 knots what will happen that's it so let's wait for it and you can see it's getting smaller. You perform a hold if uh, you are at a very high altitude. Let's say right now you can see I'm at 31,000 and um, I don't think so if I keep on descending at the same rate, I will be able to uh, intercept the glide slope at the given altitude, that's 5,000 feet. That's what I've said over here. Uh, so that's why uh, if you're coming at a higher altitude, you've missed your top of descent, then you can um, enter a hold and uh, you can reduce the altitude till the time you are at a given altitude and then you can exit the hold. Um, this is one thing. A second thing, uh, maybe it's raining, the visibility is low, 
you want to perform a hold and then once the weather is cleared then you want to proceed for the landing there's too much traffic if you're flying with watsim maybe the controller asks you to perform a hold so there can be multiple reasons but you should know how to perform it so right now you have just added it to your flight plan and uh, that's it it's very uh, a uh, short thing it's a very short procedure so i just wanted to make a short video for this not going into so much details but anyhow i'm just going to finish this video once the plane is in the this uh, pattern the holding pattern and plus uh, uh, i exit so i just want to even show you how you exit a holding pattern so what i can do is this right now uh, i can activate vnav and let's see what happens now you can see the speed is set to almost 290 knots and still the plane is descending let's see if uh, the speed reduces or not if it doesn't then i can reduce the speed myself now you can see the plane is descending at a very high speed it's reducing a bit so let's see if the speed reduces otherwise in vnav i can also control the speed or rather let's do it again i can slow it down to 230 knots and i can also activate the speed brakes And you can see the side size is reducing. I can also adjust the heading bug in case if I have to fly on heading mode rather than VNAV. Extend slats. And I can also deactivate the speed brake. Right now, you can see it's a small holding pattern. Uh, so that's how you uh, perform a hold. So let's uh, wait for the plane to go into this hold position and then I will show you how to exit it at any time. So right now, I was showing you at the published uh, hold how to perform hold as per the hold given in the charts. but you can just perform this hold at any of the waypoints as uh, per your own flight plan and maybe the instructions given by the ATC if you're flying with VATSIM. It's also useful uh, if you know this technique if you're performing a missed approach. Now you can see it's turning and uh, I'll just show it to you. Okay, So the plane will actually follow this uh, complete path of the hold now at this point you can see exit hold is coming at any point if you want to exit the hold you can press this button and you can exit the hold let's uh, just wait for a bit you can exit this hold at any time maybe over here or at this point or maybe once you are again aligned with Unoco you can just exit the hold. I think due to VNAV, the plane will not go below 11,000 because at Yudoko, you can be above 11,000 feet. Let's wait for it. Let's see what happens. Now you can see that the plane is actually following uh, this uh, holding pattern, the path for the hold. So at this point, I can uh, press this button, exit uh, hold, and the plane will actually exit the hold. And if still you want to carry on uh, with the hold and you don't want the plane to exit the hold, you can again press cancel exit and the plane will be actually out of. Uh, oh, sorry, uh, the plane will continue uh, with the hold. <laughs> so let's uh, wait for it uh, and let's see how the plane actually exits the holding pattern. So once at Unoco, it will then just go to the next point. It will. The VNAV has actually ignored uh, 
the altitude restriction. <laughs> so what I can do is this, I can set it manually because I think I was descending at, uh, with the help of vertical speed, that's why this happened. So I can set it to 11,000 and can press this button and then plane will actually climb to 11,000 because as at UNOCO you should be above 11,000, not be below 11,000. Speed is set to 230, so that's good. So that's how you can adjust the altitude. If uh, you're coming at a higher altitude, you can then continue with the flight once your altitude is adjusted. And now soon uh, the plane will be crossing Unoco, so let's see if uh, the plane exits the holding pattern or not. Uh, so far everything is good. So I've just uh, shown you everything regarding the hold. It's easy to do it and now hopefully in the next flight if uh, you have an issue in the approach you can perform a hold, prepare for the landing and uh, the final approach and then you can proceed with the flight. So even at this point I can press this uh, option, uh, this button and uh, cancel the exit. I just want to exit it and show you how it's done. It's turning right because there is also a turn. So it's not going to follow the pattern because you can see it's not turning. So it will just keep on going straight. That's it. And uh, the exit option, the cancel exit option has also disappeared. So that's how you perform a hold uh, using uh, the Boeing 78, the Microsoft Flight Simulator. With this, I would just like to end my video. If you have got any further questions, you can ask me in the comment section. And if you want to add anything to this video, the comment section is there for you. Thank you very much for staying with me. Have a nice day. Hope to see you soon.